Hello my friends and welcome to Keswick Chapel, The Chew. This is day four of week 46. Still focusing on Luke chapter 19 verses 1 through 10 as our foundation. Today we're looking at the way of Jesus as the way of evidence. When we look at the power of Jesus and the compassion of Jesus, we also discover in our passage the evidence of both his power and his compassion in Zacchaeus. How do we know this? Because once Zacchaeus realized his sin, he immediately turned from that. As a matter of fact, in verse 8, Zacchaeus exclaims, he doesn't just say, you know, aloud, he exclaims, look, Lord, here and now, I give half of all my possessions to the poor. And if I've cheated anyone out of anything, I will give them back four times that amount. What a transformation. And it was immediate. This wasn't something that he chewed on for a few days and then decided this was probably the right thing to do. He knew immediately that this was the course of action that he needed to take. And this is the evidence of Zacchaeus's transformation, of his conversion, of his repentance. He did an about face. He turned from his former ways and he became a new creature in Jesus Christ. What other evidences can we see in the Gospels? Well, how about Matthew chapter 20, verse 4? Jesus had compassion on them and touched their eyes, and immediately they received their sight and followed him. They became disciples immediately. They didn't go home and think about it. They decided immediately that they would follow Jesus. In Luke chapter 7, verses 18 through 22, we read that the disciples were dis disciples of John the Baptist were dispatched to find out who Jesus was. And Jesus tells them, quite frankly, he says, go back and report to John that you have seen the blind given sight, the lame walk, leprosy has been cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead have been raised, and the good news is proclaimed to the poor. These disciples saw with their own eyes these things taking place by Jesus. So they were direct in their testimony. Jesus wasn't telling them to of the things that he had done, he's telling them to report what they had seen. How about in Luke chapter 8, verses 26 through 56? Here we have three different stories of healings. The first one is the man demon-possessed. Jesus cast out demons out of him and made him whole. The woman with the bleeding disorder that merely touched the hem of his garment. How about Jairus? a leader of the synagogue whose daughter had died, Jesus raised her from the dead. Now what's interesting in these accounts, and I encourage you to read them all, is that he directly told the man who had been healed of the demons to go home and tell everyone what God had done for him, testimony, evidence of what had taken place in their lives. In Luke chapter 9, verse 23, Jesus tells us that to be his disciples, we must pick up our cross daily and follow him. It's not a one-time good deal. Once and done, that isn't the way of Jesus. In John chapter 13, verses 34 through 35, Jesus tells us to love one another. And this, by our love for one another, is how everyone will know that we are his disciples. Now, I've only scratched the surface. I encourage you to read these passages. I encourage you to read and do your own exploration of the Gospels to see the evidence of those who have been touched by Jesus and what is that evidence in their lives. Because, my friends, the way of Jesus is the way of evidence. Which way are you choosing? Are you choosing the way of Jesus or are you choosing your own way? I pray that as you go back and you explore these, that you will invite the Holy Spirit to give you eyes to see and ears to hear God's truth from his word, that you will have, purpose to have, a receptive heart and mind to receive these truths. And then, my friends, that you will have the boldness and the courage of Christ to take the actions in your life that the Holy Spirit leads you to take. 
I pray you'll have a wonderful day. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.